Welcome to the Hotspot lesson. This lesson will demonstrate how to make an area of an image link to a hyperlink. So for example, notice on this map of the world, if I scroll over Brazil, this hand pops up indicating it's a hyperlink. I click on that and it opens up an information page about Brazil. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get an image. So I'm going to go ahead and get an image of a Colorado map. I'll type in Colorado map. Do make sure that Safe Search is on. I'm going to click over here on the options and choose Advanced Search. I'm going to scroll down and under Usage Rights, I will choose Free to Use, Share, or Modify. Since we have to adhere to copyright laws, you want to make sure you're using an image that's copyright friendly. Go ahead and choose Advanced Search. I am going to specify that I get large images for this project. So I'm going to locate a map of Colorado. Well, what I'm going to do is have it so that if you click on Eagle County, I will take it to a website about Eagle County. I will click on the image to get a better quality. Notice this image is not of good quality. Do not save the image if it's of poor quality. Now that is a good image. I will go ahead and right click, choose Save Image As, and I'm going to get it to a safe location on my computer. And I'll click Save. I am now going to open a new window, a new tab, and type in Google Drive. Open up Google Drive. Make sure you log in, of course. And I'm going to choose Create in the upper left corner. In this case, we will choose Drawing. When this opens, you want to go ahead and choose Insert Image. And I'm going to choose the option where it says Choose an Image to Upload. I will then locate that image, double click on it to embed it on the drawing. This next example will demonstrate how to take something like El Paso County here on the map and link it to a website about El Paso County. So I googled El Paso County, Colorado, and here is the official website. So I'll go ahead and open up that site. I'm going to go ahead and select that URL. I can right click and choose copy, or I can choose control C of the keyboard for copy. I'm going to return to the map. I'm going to select a tool that will allow me to draw a similar shape to El Paso County. I want to demonstrate that there are a variety of shapes. I could use the rectangle tool and just come in and draw a rectangle and get most of it that way. That's a possibility. Or I can come up here and choose from the lines and choose polyline. And keep clicking as I go. Notice I'm clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging to get the exact shape. You might want to actually play around with it. Now that got most of the shape of El Paso County. Now what you want to do is I'm going to go back to that link. Remember earlier I had copied that hyperlink. So in Google Drive with that selection I will choose the insert hyperlink option. I will then choose control V to paste that link or I can right click and choose paste and then choose apply. Now obviously you don't want that to be showing, so what you want to do is with that selection you want to go up here to the top, choose the fill color option and make it transparent. You then want to go to the line option and also make that transparent. Now I'm just going to demonstrate showing an example of linking to El Paso with this hotspot map. I'm going to embed it on a web page. Before you do that however, you want to go to the top where it says share, click on share, and I'm going to change it to public so that anyone can see this hotspot. I will then choose Done. I'm going to go to the web page where I want to add the Colorado map. So you want to have this already set up. I'm going to choose the Edit option. I will choose Insert. I'm going to go to Drive and then Drawing. I should have named that already. I'm going to go back and name that. I like to name things. So I'll go ahead and name this map Colorado. Choose Rename and I'll call it Colorado and choose OK. Go back to my website. I will choose Insert, Drive, Drawing, locate that Colorado map, and double click on it to load it. Now notice the dimensions. Now I know the width of my website is roughly 900 pixels, so I might set the width to 800. Now notice it's 400 now. I'm adding 400 more, so I'm going to add 400 more to the height as well. So I'll change that to 800 and change the height to 700. I will then click Save. In order to view it, I'll choose Save. And now when I click on El Paso County, it will load that website. When I close it, your map should still be there. Now in order to see the width of your page, you would go to More, Edit Site Layout, and notice up here I had set the, the dimension to 900 pixels. 
So if you really want your map to fit the entire width of this page, you would go into Edit, click on that again, click on the map, choose Properties, and I'm going to add 100 more to each dimension. So 800 by 900. I will click Save, Save again, and I made it too wide. So you might want to play around with that. I'm going to have to go back in, and I'm going to play around because I'm a perfectionist. I want to get this right. I'm going to subtract 50. So 750 and 850. I will click Save, Save. And I'm going to show you something really cool about this. Now notice El Paso is a hot spot. See the little hand? Now if I scroll over Gunnison County, notice it's not a hot spot. If I go into my Google Drive and I locate a website on Gunnison County, I'll go ahead and open up that website. I'm going to highlight that URL. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to the drive. I will choose a shape for Gunnison. So I'll probably in this case use the polyline again and start making a shape around Gunnison. So there's my shape. I'm going to choose hyperlink. I will paste that hyperlink in. I'll apply it, make it transparent. Now it's going to automatically save. So when I go back to my website, refresh my window, Gunnison is now a hyperlink. This concludes the session on how to make an area of an image link to a hyperlink. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.